Hey everybody, uh, it's it's Bus Jockey again. Um, I thought I would do a part two uh, to the last video I did on checking voltage drops with uh, resistances in the positive or negative side of a circuit where it's in uh, parallel. Um, I thought I would give another demonstration uh, to give you a better idea on what I'm uh, talking about because originally I was just using resistors and I was showing the voltage on my scope and everything but um, I thought for this uh, video I would get a little bit better description and understanding uh, of what is going on um, so what I did was I've got a whole bunch of uh, test lamps here hooked up uh, they're all hooked up in parallel each one's pulling about a little bit over 200 and 30 something milliamps and uh, on my amp meter it's pulling about uh, I think a little bit over 800 uh, milliamps and uh, so um, as you put more additional loads on you're gonna have more current flow and you're gonna have uh, more voltage drop so like I said before if you have an unwanted resistance in your in the feed side of your circuit which I have hooked up here which are two one ohm resistors what will happen is as you f first turn on one load it'll look uh, pretty decent you won't think you have a problem then you'll turn on another load then then you'll look at it and you're like eh, everything's going okay I don't see anything wrong and then turn on the third, the fourth one, and then all the bulbs uh, get dimmer because of the excess current flow and the voltage drop. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show here. And then when I get done uh, doing that, I'm going to uh, show you how uh, accurate the Load Pro is with finding a resistance fault as low as uh, one ohm of resistance but right now I've got two ohms in but I'll leave that for the end of the video but right now I just want you to watch this and I think this will clear up a couple things and uh, you'll have a better understanding of what I'm talking about so anyway let's uh, get things uh, turned on uh, I don't want that. Let me disconnect that. I just want one test lamp hooked up right now. Oh. All right. As you can see, I got one test lamp hooked up. I've got the two 1 ohm resistors connected in series for a total of 2 ohms. And I've got my an amp, amp meter hooked up on my well my amp meter on my uh, multimeter hooked up and as you can see we're getting about uh, 227 uh, sorry 227 milliamps okay so uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my uh, voltmeter to uh, the wire right after the feed and I already have um, I just took a jumper wire to my load pro and I'm just tapped off uh, the resistance after uh, the feed. So right now, um, as you can see, if you look on the jump pack, my jump pack is saying 12.7. On my multimeter, it's saying 11.96 volts. So you're thinking, eh, that's that's not too bad. That's it's a little. It might be eh, about a volt drop, you know, but with lights and stuff it's a higher current load that's that's not too bad uh, you wouldn't uh, basically look at that have a red flag uh, come up on you so anyway it's 11.95 now watch the amp meter and then watch the voltmeter as I add another load alright I got another load on my amperage uh, pretty much doubled. I got 495, 496 milliamps. Okay, and my uh, voltage it 
it dropped down even more. Now it's 11.36 volts. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to hook up another load. And as you can see, both bulbs, uh, they look uh, pretty bright. So now I'm going to hook up uh, the third one. All right, I just hooked up the third bulb. And my current flow is, it went up, it's now 690 milliamps. And now look at my feed voltage. My feed voltage is now 10.85 volts, so it dropped more. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the last bulb. And then there's the fourth bulb. And it's not super dim it's still it's still pretty still pretty bright I'll have to admit that but my point is though as you add add more loads you have more current flow and you have more voltage drop so right now you have a total of 869 milliamps okay and if you look at what's on the voltmeter on the voltmeter I have 10.39 volts okay so that dropped quite a bit so if, if uh, you had like another load hooked up in parallel to it, like a fuel pump, or if you had uh, had it hooked up to the primary ignition coil feed, this voltage here, I can assure you, would cause a problem. Okay, it might not be a, uh, it might not be full dead where it would make the car completely die, but it would definitely cause a uh, a performance problem with the engine. Okay, so anyway, that's what I was talking about in the first video. I hope this clears it up a little bit more. Um, so there it is, you know, more current flow, more voltage drop. And basically, the sum of this whole thing is when you have a, a wiring problem, and if it's like a small resistance, and uh, the circuit is wired up in parallel to other circuits so if you got all these lights on there and it's hooked up to a primary ignition coil feed or a fuel pump feed as you put on more loads you're taking away the available voltage to that load therefore you will have a performance problem okay so that's that and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect all these lights and I'm just going to leave in these two resistors. And I'm going to show you something here, and I think you'll be pretty interested by it. So let me turn off the jump pack for just a second. I'm going to uh, turn or uh, take off all the loads, minus the two ohms of uh, resistance in the feed. hook up the uh, the load pro to it turn this back on all right I now have the load pro hooked up to the main positive feed so uh, just think about it theoretically like say if you're having issues with your uh, with a fuel pump with a primary ignition coil feed with another light, any, anything. Um, the load pro will find this resistance, okay? So I'm, uh, I'm hooked up to the two 1 ohm resistors, which is a total of 2 ohms, alright? And as you can see, I've got source voltage, i got 12.65 volts, okay? Alright, now watch, I'm going to push, I'm going to load the circuit. Check that out. You're at 11.37 volts. Now, just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, like, let me do it again. I got 
tied up in something, sorry. Um, I'm at 12.64 volts. All right, here's the load pro. Hooked up to that 2 ohms resistance, load the circuit. 11.39 volts, and the original voltage was 12.6. Okay? That's over a volt drop, like one and a quarter volt drop, okay? For any uh, circuits, normal uh, general rule of thumb, you know, for the higher current circuits, for lighting circuits and stuff, you don't want any more than half a volt drop. And especially you don't want any more than half a volt drop, usually, for you know, for a fuel pump. So that tells you right there, it's like, hey, you got a problem and you need to find the issue, okay? And you didn't have to do any more checks or anything, checking other wiring, other circuits, trying different things. This found it right away. Boom! You found it. Now you just have to find where the fault is, okay? But you know it's a resistive fault. It just proved it to you right here on the meter, okay? So now, here's another cool thing. It'll even show a resistance down to 1 ohm. All right, I basically bypassed it, and I went to one ohm of resistance, okay? So here's uh, the meter again. Here's load pro. Load it. 12.66. Got 11.84, okay? So that's... Uh, that shows a drop a drop right there. I'm sorry, I'm thinking the math in my head here. <laughs> All right, we're at 11.8 volts. And we were at 12.6 volts. Okay? So, and we had 11.8. So, that's about a little over that's a little bit over half a volt drop. That's uh yeah, 700 millivolts. So, it's it's right at the threshold, but it will see it. The Load Pro will see it, okay? This is the reason why I love this tool so much, okay? And I know I'm, I sound like a broken record, and I've said it time and time again, but um, it, it, it makes your diagnostics quick and easy. You can get your work done fast efficient, and efficiently, and uh, it's, it's increased my efficiency in the shop tenfold. Uh, before I had this, it took me twice as long to get things sometimes because you know I'd have to find a back probe pin or try to find a good access point you know and uh, now it, it's it's a heck of a lot simpler I, I just go to the connection point that I need to check I unplug it I put the two leads in hit the button and if your voltage uh, doesn't drop a whole lot guess what buddy your wiring's good and you're done uh, you're done you don't have to go any further so um, but no, that, that pretty much sums it up, and uh, I hope this is a better explanation of what I was talking about from the first video. So if you have any more questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, just, uh, just let me know, and uh, I'll be here. So anyway, uh, say it again. I'll say it again. Get you a load pro, okay? Anyway, uh, that's it, and uh, everybody uh, have a good evening. I'm out of here. Bye.